this is where it really changes the game. For a long time, when the interface tunnel was created on a Cisco router, the tunnel default protocol, and the only one it for a long time ran was GRE as the protocol on that tunnel interface. As time progressed, that protocol, which was just GRE, kept on changing. You could have the ability to run multi-point GRE on it. This, by the way, is point-to-point -point GRE. You could run IPv6, IPv4 tunnel in it, and vice versa. All right? Similarly, what they did, and it's been there for a while now, about four or five years ago, what they did was they said, why don't I run this tunnel interface using just IPsec? Why do I need GRE? The default encapsulation protocol on that tunnel interface is GRE point to point. And initially that was the only choice that you had. So if you wanted to do routing with IPsec, you had no choice but to do GRE IPsec. Okay, but then starting with I think 12.3 T, higher versions of T, they started implementing IPsec natively as a protocol where? On the tunnel interface. So it's a I native IPsec tunnel interface rather than a GRE interface that I'm encrypting using IPsec. What does that do? That completely eliminates what? GRE from the picture. If I change my protocol from what? GRE to IPsec. Where? On the tunnel interface. That becomes a pure what? A normal IPsec tunnel. the ICMP packet directly. It doesn't see GRE at all. What do I need to do to do that? How do I change my protocol? Very simple. Rather than running the tunnel interface as what? What is it running right now? Let's check. What's my protocol? Tunnel protocol is GRE. Yes, I'm encrypting it using what? IPsec, but the protocol is what? GRE. Tunnel mode. IPsec, IPv4. And I need to do it on? I want you guys to take a look at it now. What's the tunnel protocol? Pure IPsec. It's no longer running GRE. This tunnel interface is a pure IPsec interface. So now you do have the ability to run routing protocols on IPsec. Before I needed the help of what? GRE to do it? Now I don't. When I say now, <laughs> it's not now, it's been there for a while. In our industry, four to five years is an eternity. It's been there for a while. So that concept of GRE being what? Required to run routing on IPsec is no longer there. I can run it, I can run it on a native IPsec tunnel by changing the mode of the tunnel to IPsec. Now, let me ask you that. If you take a look at this config over here, It says mode transport, right? Is it going to be transport? Transport requires the outer header and the inside header to be the same. It's not because before I, it was the same because I was seeing the GRE header. Now I don't have GRE, I'm seeing ICMP directly, 10.1 to 10.3, and my outer header is going to be 12.1 to 23.3. So although I said mode transport, it's intelligent saying, hey, listen, you cannot do transport over here, I'm going to fall back to what? Tunnel. So although I'm saying mode transport, if you really take a look at it, where is the packets increasing? 2928, I think that's the one. 
Yeah, this is the one. See, this is the one that's increasing. It went from 29.28 to 31.29. And although I had said mode transport, it has fallen back to town because it's intelligent enough to say, hey, listen, there's no way I'm going to do transport over here. My inside header and outside header are always going to be different. So it's intelligent enough to move back to what? To tunnel. This is native IPsec tunnel. Also known as static virtual tunnel interface. Static virtual tunnel interface. It's a pure IPsec tunnel interface. The limitation right now is this type of tunnel is a point-to-point -point tunnel. So IPsec native can be run under a tunnel interface, but only if you're doing what? Point-to-point -point tunnels. Later on today, we'll take a look at MGRE. MGRE, I need, if I need multipoint, I cannot do multipoint SVTM. I can only do point-to-point -point SVTM. If I need a multipoint network, I am still dependent on MGRE or multipoint GRE. Make sense? All right, so that's your SVTM. Nowadays, if you're running a tunnel interface, my suggestion, if your iOS supports it, make it native. That's the best way to do it. Now you're limited about 25, 24 bytes. Again, it's increasing the number of bytes that you increase. Uh, okay. Besides, no, no reliance on what? GRE. Good? Clear? Let's save this.